hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last workshop video we unwrapped the head of this model and today we are going to unwrap the uh, rest of it so in this tutorial we are going to finish the neck and the torso and uh, probably this part here so uh, i'm going to change the viewport so let's start the unwrapping I'll select this uh, neck and I'm going to isolate it but you can still see some gap here like this so I'm going to go to front view and uh, just select the vertices and I'm going to rotate just a little bit like this now it's better so isolate it and uh, so as you can see that this is just a simple cylinder and if we smooth it it's going to look like this so here are some things like these edges so we don't need this one i'm going to remove it and uh, same for this one delete it and uh, as you can see that we have a lot of unnecessary edges in these parts so i'm going to remove all of these and delete now we need to fix this thing and uh, add some supporting edges so we have lost all those hard edges so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the edges like this and then bevel and uh, this time i'm going to turn off the chamfer and decrease the fraction to something like this and I think this should be fine and now we have the same shape now I'm going to turn off the smooth preview and go to create and for this one I'm going to use uh, cylindrical mapping so go to create and uh, click on the cylinder close this envelope and just unfold your mesh and it's done you can also try to straight this but uh, it won't work that well so let's try it anyway i'm going to select all these uvs and i'm going to straighten and straighten uvs so as you can see that the middle part is fine but we have some stretches here so i'm going to select this part and uh, go to tool and select this smooth i'm going to unfold this part like this and unfold so it looks much better now and I'm going to lay out it like this and we have some stretching in this upper part so I'm going to go to UVs, select these top UVs and uh, just pull these up just a little bit like this. Now select this one and isolate it. And for this one, let's use planner mapping and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to create open the planner and i'm just going to project from the y-axis because all these faces are facing the y-axis i'm going to hit apply and close we have this part here so i'm going to just select this edge and 
in here i'm going to cut it and now let's try to unfold it and layout so we have this part separated here and i'm going to add one cut like this and unfold again now you can also uh, cut these parts because these parts are extruded and we need to keep them separated but for a small object like this this uv should be fine but if uv is like this bothers you then you can also separate them you can also create seams here and cut this but for now i'm going to keep it like this and i'm just going to lay out bring back your model and uh, let's select this part isolate it so this one looks fine and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to create camera based mapping and let's go to edge mode and create some seams like this same here and in this part go to edge mode in your uv editor cut and then let's unfold and uh, layout and uh, we have these parts so we also need to add uh, a cut here and also in this one and in this one now again select everything and unfold and now you can place them in a layout fix your orientation and for this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it and just add a cut here like this or oh, let's add one in the back side and then unfold Select everything, layout, and fix the orientation of this shell. So we are done with all these parts, and I'm going to select all of them. Go to UV shell and layout and let's unwrap this one so isolate it again go to create camera based go to edge mode and i'm going to select the edges to create the seams like this and just add a few cuts here like this go to edge mode cut and unfold then select all the shells and layout fix the orientation select everything then layout So we are done with this now select all these parts and then select everything and layout and i'm going to place these ones here so we have this pocket here again isolate it and go to create 
I'm going to assign an automatic mapping here like this. This one should work fine. Select everything, move and sew and unfold. So this one looks great. Again, select all these parts. And uh, one more time, just lay out and place them here for now. So we are pretty much done with the torso part. We have now legs and arms to unwrap. So I guess I'll just stop this video here. And in the next one, we are going to work on these arms and legs. Since uh, the two legs and the arms are identical, we are just going to unwrap one of them and we are going to transfer UV from one part to another. And if you want to know how to do that, I have already made a tutorial about that. You can check out on this channel and you can also check out that video from the I button on this video. So I hope you like this tutorial and drop a like on this video. And if you are new, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with the next episode for this workshop.